Clyde Lindsay here at Leechburg Lights. Thanks for taking the time to be with us to see this video today. Today we're doing this video on um, the DIY LED Express bridge and a few pixel extenders. Now, if you haven't uh, got a DIY LED Express bridge, the the reason why you would want one is because you have a uh, old school DMX uh, decoder. Uh, DOM RGB controller that you want to control with DMX and what the DIY LED Express bridge does is the bridge converts E131 into DMX and that DMX can then be sent out to your DOM RGB controller so in 2013 this is the bridge I started with and uh, it runs flawlessly now I've, I did a video earlier on how to ups, update the uh, the actual uh, firmware in here so that you have a much easier to use uh, graphic user interface and the update includes the ability to run these little pixel extenders right here these are like itty bitty mini controllers that you can connect right to the outputs on the uh, bridge and there's also these um, what's what's called a jumper and there's two settings the jumper is mostly used for DMX but also there's a Renard protocol that you can use and whenever you put them in the Renard jumper setting then you can run the pixel extenders through the the DIY bridge so uh, now you'll notice I'm using a computer power supply and this case is actually a much uh, deeper and larger case than than a standard like CG 1500 I think uh, it's, a, it's a little taller um, but what I've done was I use a computer power supply and the reason I've done so is because I'm only running at, at maximum one of these uh, pixel extenders can run one universe so with that caveat out of the way um, I'm only gonna run uh, GE color effects off of these specific pixel extenders there's three of them here so I think there there's three window frames or there's one um, let's say there's a uh, the GECE -E spinner and then there's also the wreath I'm probably just gonna run the wreath this year and and whatever other else I'm gonna run but in any event what I want to want what I want to be able to do is I want to have multiple power supply connections to each one of these see each one of these is like its own one universe of pixels that I can run but being as if these are GE color effects that I'm going to be running, then uh, I don't need as much power. So my computer power supply is actually rated at 32 amps, which is significant. You can run quite a bit off of 32 amps. But um, what I'll end up doing is probably only running maybe uh, 125 GE color effects off of two or three outputs. So um, I'm not going to be taxing the power supply here. It's It's been a good uh, power supply in the past. So I'm just going to go ahead, hook it up. I've, I've installed everything. And I am using, since the computer has uh, a number of, um, a com the power supply has a number of wires, I just selected all the red ones and the black ones that I needed and ran them right to my uh, specific outputs. Uh, this made it really easy instead of having to have multiple outputs and uh, splitters and different kinds of things so that I could hook up more than one of these at a time. So uh, I, I am, I've already gone ahead and tested it. It, uh, it has come up in my display screen. I've, I've got it all configured for the display this year and I just thought I'd share it with you all. Once again, it's great for running uh, as a as a bridge or an interface for E131 to DMX. You can run your dumb RGBs off of here. Each one of these outputs, uh, there's six outputs on here, you can run up to 512 channels of, of DMX, which is a whole lot of uh, dumb RGBs, if you, but you're never going to use that many. So, hey, thanks for taking the time to be with us today, guys. If you have any questions, you know what to do. Uh, thanks for watching, and we'll talk to you soon. Hey.